everybody! I'm Eep the Mouse from the Mother Goose Club! Today I'm playing with my friend Wolfie here in our snowy mountaintop cabin! <laughs> We've been having so much fun hanging out together! But we saw the coolest thing the other day when we were hanging out and I want to show it to you! Come on! Come follow us! So Wolfie's been such a good boy, he's eaten almost all the bones I have for him. Ain't that right, Wolfie? <laughs> but you gotta check this out. We were playing outside the other day, and we saw the coolest thing. Come on, Wolfie, it's not time for a nap. We gotta show them what's up. So, oh, and check it out. Wolfie's been staying around and hanging out with me so much, I built him his own doghouse. Isn't it neat? It's red, and we, I even put a, a log inside. We're gonna light a fire in here and make s'mores later as a housewarming party. Ain't that right, Wolfie? <laughs> so, yeah, it's super cool, but oh, right. We're gonna show you this cool thing we saw the other day. So check it out. We were out here having a snowball fight and building igloos together when we saw this weird thing on the horizon. Do you see it? It's red all the way over there. And we, we don't have any idea what it is. So come on and check it out with us. We're gonna, we're gonna go and see what it is. And it's a, a little dark out because of all the snow, so we're gonna put out some torches along the way. But we love hanging out together in the snow, Wolfie and I. It's so much fun. And oh, we just love being together and having all sorts of fun together. And oh, check it out. Oh, it looks like a pumpkin patch up ahead. Shh. Look, look how cool it is. <gasps> wow, look at all these wild pumpkins just growing out here. Ain't this cool, Wolfie? Whoa, I think that was some lightning. Oh, man. Oh, and check it out. Oh, look at all these pumpkins. And the snow is cleared and it's bright out now. Do you know what pumpkins make me think of? Making snow golems. Do you guys know what snow golems are? Oh, well, I gotta show you how to make one. So basically, they're like snowmen, but even better. Oh, oops. <laughs> well, that can stay there. Well, uh, what you have to do is you have to harvest a pumpkin and get some snow blocks. So I've got some here. And look, there's already some out right here. So what we're gonna do is you have to put two snow blocks on top of each other and then put the pumpkin on top. And it makes a snow golem. So here we have two snow blocks, and since I'm kind of short, I can't see the top there. We're gonna put a pumpkin right on the top here, and let's see. Okay, there we go, see, look! We made a snow golem, guys! <gasps> look how happy he is! Oh, and look, he's walking around! Oh, that's so cool! Hey, buddy, nice to meet you. I'm Eat the Mouse. Say hi, Wolfie. Oh, he's so cool. Oh, whoa, but check it out, all the lava's over there. You stay here, Snow Golem. Lava's gonna melt you, so, so don't get too close. And you know what, Wolfie? I don't, I don't want you to get hurt either. So I'm gonna tie you up right here so you don't fall in the lava or the water, okay? It's nothing personal. It's just because I want you to be safe. So we're gonna put you on a lead and tie you up right here. I'll be right back, Wolfie. Come on, let's check it out. Whoa, look at that, there's so much lava. Look, it's so hot. It's even melting all the ice on the, on the river. That's so cool. Did you guys know that lava is molten rock? It's really, really hot and it comes out from the Earth's surface. It's so cool. Oh, and, and guess what I heard? I heard that if you pour water on top of lava, it turns into rocks. Let's, let's check it out. So I've got some buckets here from when I was ice fishing the other day. Let's fill them up with some water. And, uh, and we're gonna pour that water on this lava and see what happens. Okay, right there. And whoa, you see that? It turned, it turned all of the, the close by lava into rocks. That's so cool. Oh, I wonder, I wonder what happens if I break that rock. Let's see, can I reach it? Yeah, I don't want to get too close and get hurt. There we go. Oh, it's, it's really hard. I should have brought a pickaxe with me. Oh man, 
Oh, whoa, that's so cool! When the lava drips back down, it turns to rock when it hits the water. That's so cool! Wow, that's awesome! Lava's super cool. Well, Wolfie seems to be doing okay back there, and I don't want to be gone from him for too long. So I'm gonna chop down some trees so we can have more fire for, for that, that uh, fire for the s'mores we're making. So, whoa, what was that? <gasps> whoa! It's like a lava man! That's so, he, ow! He's, he's shooting at me with arrows! That's not very nice! What are you doing, lava man? Don't do that! That's really mean! Well, ugh, I can't have you hurting me or my friends! Get out of here, lava man! Oh, man! Be careful, snow golem and wolfie! Don't worry, I got this! Oh, no! Oh, lava man, you can't! You can't go that way! Oh, man, wolfie! Wolfie, you gotta help me out! Oh, no, you're all tied up! I forgot! Here, here, here! Oh, man! Oh, he... Killed the snow golem! Oh, Wolfie, we gotta get him! Take that! And that! And oh, yes, we got him! Oh my goodness, that was terrible! He was so mean, our poor snow golem friend! Oh, man! Well, that's the good thing about this pumpkin patch is we have a ton, a ton of pumpkins, so we can make another one. What do you say? Let's make a new snow friend right now! Okay, let's see, we're gonna put some snow there, and we're gonna grab one of the pumpkins. We'll, we'll call him Snow Gollum the second. Snow Gollum's son, yeah, <laughs> that's so funny. Let's see here, we're gonna put it right on top. Just like that, there you go, good as new. This is our new Snow Gollum friend now, Wolfie. Ah, man, come on, I'm gonna show you a what that lava did with the water. It's so cool, I just, you gotta promise not to fall in. That's why I gotta put you on the lead, okay? Man, that was so weird that that lava man showed up right when I started putting out some of the lava. Oh no, maybe, maybe he got mad at me for, for messing with his lava. He came from over here. Oh, it's like a little, whoa, what is that? Wolfie, you sleep, look at this, check this out. This must have been the, the Lava Man's cave. How how interesting. And, whoa, some fire. What's in this chest? Oh, ooh, some flint and steel. A lava bucket. That's cool. And oh, a, a skeleton skull. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that there, Wolfie. I know you like bones, but skulls they're they're, they're bad news. So let's head out. Man, he dropped a lot of stuff too, like a bow and a sword and oh man, I even picked up some of his his uh his uh, body parts. That's so interesting. Well, come on, Wolfie. Let's let's uh let's head back home. We've had a tiring day, and I really want those s'mores. Oh, I'm so excited. And hey, now that I've picked up some flint and steel, it'll be even easier to light that fire in your house. It'll be so much fun with our fireplace. And I love s'mores. I just love campfires in general. We like to roast hot dogs sometimes, and if we've gone fishing, we'll roast the fish on the campfire too. It's so cool and so much fun. Man, I wish I wish that lava man wasn't so mean. Maybe we could have been friends. If he didn't go off and hurt our snow golem friend, that would have been nice. But, you know, we're going to we're going to build that fire and we're going to we're going to have some fun and have some s'mores. Ain't that right, Wolfie? We're going to I'm gonna take this lead off of you now, though. I know we're safe now, so it's okay. So let's see, we're gonna grab the flint and steel, and we've already got the, the log that I put in here earlier. So we'll just light that up, and oh yeah, look how how pretty it is in here. Oh, it's so warm. Come on in, Wolfie, come. Oh, oh no, oh golly gee, what happened? Oh dear, oh I'm on fire, I'm on fire! Oh, good thing, let's, oh, phew. oh man, oh golly gee, what happened? Oh man, that that was dangerous! Oh, oh no! Wolfie, your house is on fire! Wolfie, Wolfie, are you okay? Oh man, let's let's get some more of this uh this water here. Can I can I take any? There we go. Oh man, well, let's let's put it in here real quick. That'll put it put out the fire, right? Oh no! Oh, I think I missed. Oh dear! Oh, oh, Wolfie, Wolfie, where are you? Where'd you go? Wolfie! Oh no, I just made a 
Oh, there you're stuck in the water. Oh man, I'm sorry, Wolfie. Come on. Oh, oh dear, he fell down the waterfall I made. Oh man, and the house is still on fire. Oh no. Oh, well, I think I think I'm gonna have to build Wolfie a new house. Wolfie, I'm sorry. Are you okay? Oh man. Well, I'm glad you're not hurt, Wolfie. Oh wow, and I, I melted all the snow too. <laughs> Oh man, it's okay, Wolfie. It's fine. Come here. Don't don't go swimming anymore. We can head up through the stairs. It's okay. I'm sorry about that, Wolfie. Oh, I guess I guess lighting a fire on some wood in a in a, a flammable house maybe wasn't the best idea. Oh man, I should have built it outside. I just thought it would be so warm. Oh man. Well, looks like I'm gonna have to rebuild this, Wolfie. Where are you? There you go. Oh man, I'm really sorry, Wolfie. Well, don't worry. I'll build it bigger and better this time. It'll be huge. And don't worry, it'll be made out of stone. So when we put a fire on the inside, it doesn't light on fire. It doesn't light me on fire. <laughs> well, I had a lot of fun hanging out, guys. Both me and Wolfie. That lava man was super crazy. I wonder if we'll see any more around here. Well, I'll see you soon. Bye from the Mother Goose Club. Everybody, I'm Ethan Mouse from the Mother Goose Club. Today, I'm going fishing. Come on, let's go. So, I like to come out here to the fishing hole. It's not too far from my house whenever I want to go fishing. It can be a lot of fun. And the best part is, is after you catch the fish, you can cook them up and eat them. Oh, they're just such a tasty snack. And I'm kind of hungry, so that makes it the perfect time to go fishing. So, uh, it's a little bit early in the morning. The sun isn't even all the way up. That's the perfect time to go fishing. because That's when the fish are out. So I'm just going to uh, cast my rod into the water. Now the important part about fishing is having patience. You need to wait and wait and wait for a fish to show up. Oh. Oh man, I'm just, I'm so hungry. Uh, oh, I caught a lily pad. I can't eat a lily pad. Get back in the water. Oh, I'm just so hungry that, uh, I don't want to wait to catch any fish though. Huh, well, I have an idea. I heard somewhere that if you put TNT in the water and light it on fire, it'll blow up all the fish into the air and then they'll all land on your dock and you'll have plenty of fish to eat. Oh, isn't that great? Oh, so let's, I'm gonna, I have some TNT right here. So I'm gonna give that a shot. So let's see, I'm gonna put some out here for the TNT to sit on. And uh, yeah, that should be enough. And we'll put some TNT here and some here. And oh, I guess we can put one there too. Yeah, that should be plenty. So I'm gonna light this TNT and let's see what happens. Oh, I really hope I get some fish. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, that was so cool! Oh, but, but there are no fish. Oh, that didn't get any fish at all. There's no fish on my dock. Oh, I guess, I guess I'll just have to keep fishing then. All right, well, let's cast the rod again. Okay, well, another good way to make the, the time go by faster when you're fishing is to sing. I also hear it in a it attracts some fish, so let's sing a song. Uh, sing along with me if you know this one. One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let it go again. Ugh. Well, I, I guess that didn't work either. Oh man, well. Uh... Oh, oh, I have another idea. Another way you can make fishing a little bit easier in Minecraft is to enchant your fishing rod. So let's give that a shot. In this chest we keep here uh, on the fishing dock, I've got everything I need to start enchanting. So let's grab uh, a couple bookshelves, some uh, lapis, and uh, an enchanting table. So here's how it works. First, you put out your enchanting table, and then you can uh, enchant your rod. But I can also put some books around it. 
But this uh, makes the enchanting table even better. I like to put some around it whenever I try and enchant things. So let's get started. So let's put the rod here. And oh yeah, sweet, here we go. I can use some of my, uh, my power to uh, enchant this fishing rod. So let's try this one. Let's see, oh, so this fishing rod has unbreaking one. Basically that means that this rod can't break now, but uh, normally uh, what helps to make fishing rods better is the uh, enchantment lure, but let's try this one and see if it uh, helps me catch fish even more. Huh, so let's see, we just have to wait wait some more and I could do some more singing but that didn't work last time oh I really wish I could catch some fish but I'm just oh 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 I didn't catch it I missed oh I guess this isn't working well there's another way you can enchant a fishing rod in order to catch uh, more fish and this one is by using an enchantment book and an anvil so I've got this enchantment book for lure level three here so I'm going to enchant my fishing rod on this anvil here and see if uh, that'll help. There we go. So I can afford it. So I just enchanted that fishing rod. So not only does it have unbreaking level one, it also has lore level three. So it's a super good fishing rod now. I'm sure this will help me catch a fish. It's gotta. Oh man, I really hope that I catch a salmon. Salmon are my favorite fish in the whole world. I like to eat them on bagels or grilled up. Oh, they're so tasty. But okay, okay, we just gotta wait here patiently now. I don't see any fish yet, but they gotta be around here soon. Oh man, mm, I'm just so hungry. I can't stop thinking about fish. Oh, okay. Oh, I think I see one. Oh, oh yes, I got it. And it's a salmon, my favorite fish in the whole world. Yes, yay. Oh, that rod is awesome. I'm glad we took the time to enchant it and everything. Oh, this is great. Okay, so I'm going to grill it up on this furnace now. So we'll put the salmon here. And we just got to wait a little bit till it's done cooking. Oh, I love fishing. It's so much fun. And I'm pretty sure that the fish tastes better if you catch it yourself. See, look, here's the cooked salmon. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, I can't wait to have some. Oh, guys, look, it looks so tasty. Oh, okay, okay, I'm gonna eat it. Uh, yum, 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 yum. Oh, that was so good. I'm so full. Oh, I love salmon. Well, thanks for going fishing with me, guys. I had a lot of fun. Come fishing with me again soon. Bye, bye. Everybody, I'm Eat the Mouse from the Mother Goose Club. Today, I'm hanging out on top of the mountain by my log cabin, and I've just finished building most of Wolfie's house. Come on, let's check it out. So, I was building the rest of his house earlier, and you know, it looks really good for a dog house. It's really big, but you know what? I was thinking about it, and I think I could make it even bigger and even nicer. Isn't that right, Wolfie? I bet you'd like that. So. I decided that, you know what? I'm gonna make it even better. And I'm gonna make it even bigger. So I got a bunch of supplies together to make this house awesome. And I realized I wanna take this back wall and uh, send it out even farther so it makes the house even longer. But to do that, I'm gonna have to get rid of all those bricks and all that wood. And you know what? I could dig it all out with a pickaxe or I could use some TNT and just blow the whole thing up back there. That'll make so much room for me to build a whole nother part of the house. Yeah, Wolfie, okay. Stay out here. Stay away from the house while I get the TNT set up and get ready to explode it. <laughs> so let's see, let's grab some TNT. We've got some flint and steel here. So Wolfie, I'm gonna tie you up. No, 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 don't go in there. I have to go in there and put some TNT down, okay? So I'm gonna take you over this way and put you inside the house, okay? I don't want you to get hurt, all right? So stay right here, okay? I'll be back, I promise. I just wanna make sure that Wolfie doesn't get hurt. TNT can be really dangerous if you're not careful. So, Wolfie, no, how 
how'd you get back out here? Okay, okay, how about this? We're gonna put it down here and here. And Wolfie, I'm sorry, but we're gonna have to, uh, you're gonna have to follow me and stay all the way over here, okay? I'm gonna sit you down inside the house where you'll be nice and safe, okay? And you can't follow me, all right? You can't follow me, okay, Wolfie? I understand that you wanna see the explosion, but I don't want you to get hurt, okay? So stay right here, all right? I'll be right back, okay? Oh, he's a good boy, so I think I'll stay there this time. So let's get out the flint and steel, and let's uh, light up this TNT and get away as fast as we can so we don't get hurt, okay? So we'll, there we go. Okay, I let the TNT, let's go, let's get out of here. Oh boy, okay, oh! Oh man, I did it! Oh sweet, the whole back of the house has been blown up. Oh man, there's so much more room here now. You know, I think I need to put down one more TNT to get the back of the wall here. So we'll put it right here. There we go. And we'll just light that real quick. And take a step back, and that should get rid of everything else. Oh yeah, look at it! Oh, that, oh awesome! That was perfect! That was just the perfect amount I needed. Oh, this leaves plenty of room for me to build more for Wolfie. Okay, I'm gonna bring him back outside so he can see how things look. <laughs> I'm coming, Wolfie, don't worry. Okay, hi, Wolfie. Oh, you're being a good boy. Yeah, you can come outside now, come on. I'll leave the doors open so you can come out when you're ready. You gonna come, Wolfie? Okay, so I'm gonna start building the rest of your house up. So let's see. Let's first fill in all of these holes here. So we'll put, oh, looks like I'm out of dirt. Let's go and grab some more in my chest. There we go, that should be plenty. And you know, let's grab some more wool, just in case. Yeah, see Wolfie, look! I know it's kind of sad that some of your doghouse is gone, but I promise there's gonna be more there soon. It's gonna be even cooler. Okay, I I, I got some, uh, uh, some carpet. Yeah, some carpet, and we're gonna put that down on your floor, and it's gonna be super cool, okay? So let's see, let's grab some more bricks and build this out a little bit more. So let's see, we'll add some there, and we'll put some more uh, some more dirt down. Oh man, this is gonna be so cool. You know, I love explosions, they're so much fun. They can be really dangerous sometimes, like when creepers explode, that's pretty bad, but you know, Otherwise, explosions can be a lot of fun. It's fun to kind of destroy things sometimes and see what happens, you know? So, okay, I accidentally put that brick down. It's really hard to pick up without a pickaxe. So, I'm, uh, I'll get a pickaxe later. But for now, I'll just uh, start building the rest of this up. So, let's see. Oh, oh, looks like I'm out. Okay. Man, I should have been prepared. I should have grabbed everything out of the chest. Well, that's all right. You guys don't mind. It's all for fun here. I love crafting. I know, I know I've said that before, but it's so much fun. Oh yeah, and uh, all my friends like to build too. Build all sorts of things. Jack likes to build, Mary likes to build. Mary can fix cars, did you know that? She's so cool. I'm not very good at fixing cars, but I can build dog houses really well. <laughs> but yeah. It's been so much fun hanging out with Wolfie. He's a really good dog. Oh, where'd, where'd you go, Wolfie? Wolfie! Oh, man. Uh, sometimes, though, even though he's a lot of fun to play with, he's got really stinky breath. Really gross dog breath. Have you guys ever smelt dog breath? It can be really nasty sometimes. Ugh, just pee you! Ugh! It was really stinky so stinky and I have no idea what makes doggy breath smell so bad I wonder if it's vegetables oh yeah that would make sense some vegetables can be really gross sometimes like I really don't like asparagus do you guys like asparagus I'm not really a fan I think it's really stinky and it it, it makes me feel kind of sick I really just I don't like I don't like asparagus that's that's all I have to say about that. But there are some other vegetables I really do like, like broccoli. I really like broccoli. Uh, it looks just like little trees, and I think that's really cool. Oh, 
Well, let's see. I'm gonna grab a pickaxe and start getting rid of some of these these uh, these brick blocks I've put out accidentally. Like that one. There we go. And we'll take this one down. Perfect. Okay. So I just have a few more to add. We'll put those here. And let's see. Oh, I can't really reach up there. Oh, that's a good idea, Wolfie. I'll uh, I'll climb up. You gotta scooch over, Wolfie. I gotta I gotta build a place to climb on top of. Okay. And there we go, awesome, perfect. So we'll put some more bricks down. But yeah, I like vegetables, but there are just some that I think are really, really gross. I wonder if Wolfie likes asparagus. That's probably why his breath stinks so much right now. Ugh, so gross. But yeah, okay, cool. So the walls are all built up. So let's get rid of the wool I used to climb on top of. Oh yeah, it's looking great, Wolfie. And let's put down the flooring. We'll put some here. And oh, looks like I ran out. Let's grab some more. And then we can put the roof in. <gasps> I have a really good idea. What if instead of just making the roof out of wool, we add a skylight. We add some, some glass window panes in. So Wolfie can see the stars when he's sleeping inside at night. <gasps> That'll be so fun. Wouldn't that be cool looking, Wolfie? Oh yeah, we're totally doing that. Uh, I just, I love getting to build things, and I like that uh, I can make Wolfie's house even better than it was before. Oh, Wolfie, you're gonna have to get out of there. I gotta build right there, okay? Oh, come on, scooch over, Wolfie. Okay, there we go, that's a good boy. Okay, cool, awesome. So let's build some of the roof back, and then I'll build, oopsies, then I'll build the rest of it with some window panes. That should work fine. Oh, and I forgot to get rid of these here. There we go, one, two. Oh, oops, looks like I messed up there. We'll, uh, we'll grab some here, put it right there, and then put some flooring down. Boom, awesome, perfect, okay. And then I should be able to build some more of the roof. So we'll put some here. Oh man, I love the stars, they're so cool. And uh, the fact that they make constellations is pretty cool too. Do you guys know what constellations are? They're, when, uh, they're groups of stars that uh, are all together. And what they do is they uh, sometimes form pictures about with stories about uh, all sorts of cool things like other creatures and people. It's really fun to hear about. Teddy tells me about stories from constellations all the time. It's super fun. Okay, so let's see. I need the glass pane for the roof now, which I totally forgot to grab. So we'll grab it here. There we go, some glass panes. We'll stick that over there. Oh yeah, this is looking so much better already. Okay, so let's see. We're gonna put one here. Oh, oops. We'll just, uh, we'll leave that for now. We'll put it right there, and right there, and there, and oh. Whoa, it's making such a cool pattern. I don't know if this is gonna keep all the, uh, um, the snow and the rain out, but it sure looks cool. And you know what? When you're building things sometimes, there's uh, some happy accidents that can happen. And they look really neat sometimes too. I'll have to fix it later. But for now, this looks really cool. Oh, and it lets some air in too. That's awesome. Oh, let's, let's get rid of this one. Oopsies. We'll break these. Smash, smash. There we go. Oh, you like that, Wolfie? Yeah, and we can even have some of the daylight coming in. And we'll put up a couple torches. And yeah, this is looking awesome. Okay, I'm gonna grab some of the carpet. And then, you know, I think this is everything that I wanted to uh, to add to Wolfie's house. So it's looking pretty cool. Oh man. Well, oh, that's kind of weird. Oh, the, the carpet isn't touching the ground. Oh, I get it. Because we put uh, some wooden slabs down, it's a, uh, there's some space between one block and the next. So it looks like the, uh, the carpet is hovering above the ground. Oh man, that's so weird. I kind of like it though. You know what? I think I'm gonna keep it. Oh, oh, I have a really good idea. Let's grab some more slabs and it can be like a little play area. Oh yeah, with some steps. Okay, okay. This is gonna look so cool, guys. Check it out. Okay, Wolfie, what are you doing? Oh, he's such a silly wolf. So we'll put some more down here. Wolfie, get out of there. Oh. Come on, Wolfie. Oh, what a silly dog. Well, 
We should be okay, let's see. We'll grab some of these and we won't need the TNT anymore because I don't uh, plan to explode this house anymore today. Maybe a different day, but not right now. Wolfie, there you go, that's a good boy. So let's see, oh yeah, so it's like a step up, that's awesome, oh yeah, it's perfect. And we'll put some on top of these planks here. See, problem solved. Sometimes mistakes lead to really cool things happening. Oh yeah, this is awesome, I love it. Okay, so I like how that looks and I think Wolfie does too. Wolfie, where'd you go? Wolfie, come back. Huh, oh there he is. Oh see, look, he went him all by himself. Oh, isn't this cool, Wolfie? Isn't it a cool place? Oh man. And don't worry, I'll patch up the holes in this skylight in a little bit, don't worry. I didn't know that the glass panes would do such cool looking things, but uh, they're not gonna keep out the rain and that's what's important. So I'll take care of that some other day, Wolfie. Uh, you should uh, check it out a little bit though. Oh, it just looks so cool. Oh, it's awesome. I love building things, guys. Thank you so much for building more of Wolfie's house, house with me. Come back next time. We might build even more things for Wolfie. Bye from the Mother Goose Club. Everybody, I'm Eep the Mouse from the Mother Goose Club. Today I'm here with my friend Wolfie, and we're gonna build Wolfie his own doghouse. Come on! So Wolfie's been such a good boy lately. He's been uh, staying with me in my house and sleeping with me in my bed, but it gets a little crowded. So we're gonna build him his own doghouse now. Come on, Wolfie, let's head outside. So we're staying up in our cabin. Come on, Wolfie, get out of bed! Oh, I know it's a really comfy bed, but don't worry. Your house is going to be awesome when I'm done with it. Come on. Come on, Wolfie. There you go. That's a good boy. Okay, cool. Now, since we're outside, we'll shut the door. And, oh, look how beautiful it is out today. Bright and shiny. Okay, Wolfie. Oh, Wolfie, are you okay? Oh, yeah, he's fine. He's, he's a good boy. Well, I think we should build his uh, house right around here. Right, Wolfie? This is where his old house was, so may as well start here. Come on. So I put this chest out here with a bunch of doghouse building supplies. So let's start off by grabbing some bricks and some oak slabs, and let's get some dirt too. Now, I think this is a good starting area, but I think we could make it a little bit bigger. So let's put some dirt down here to make it a little bit wider. What do you think of that, Wolfie? <laughs> I'm so excited to have a new little wolf friend. He's been so much fun to have around. He loves playing fetch and having treats. And oh, have you guys ever tried a dog treat before? They're really icky. <laughs> I tried one the other day when I gave Wolfie a treat because it looks like a cookie or like a, a biscuit that you would get with some, uh, some tea or hot chocolate. And trust me, it does not taste like a cookie or a biscuit. <laughs> but Wolfie seems to like them, so I, I give them to Wolfie. Dogs eat lots of interesting things, but they also eat a lot of things they shouldn't, like toys and socks. I found Wolfie chewing on some of my shoes before, and, and I tell him, you can't do that, Wolfie, it's bad for you. But he just won't listen to me sometimes. So I think this is gonna be big enough for the base of Wolfie's house. So I'm gonna make the walls out of brick. So we'll put one here and, oh, I'm standing too close and there and there and yeah. Oh yeah, you like that Wolfie. You like the view, don't you? It's super cool. Oh, get out of there Wolfie. I don't wanna build bricks over you. <laughs> so we're gonna put some more here and he's just following me around. He's so excited. Oh, we go on walks all the time, and it's so much fun. Sometimes when we're out on walks, Wolfie will start digging these big holes in the ground, just like other doggies. <laughs> I sometimes wish I could be a dog. It's a lot of fun being a mouse, but to be a dog would be so cool. You can go outside and play with other dogs and digging a bunch of holes. I wonder why dogs dig holes. Are they trying to get to the other side of the earth? I think that Teddy once told me that dogs dig because they like to bury their things like bones and, and other foods. 
And they do that just in case they get hungry for later, like saving snacks! Isn't that right, Wolfie? <laughs> oh, he's so silly. So let's see. I built a wall here. So, oh, well, I'm gonna put a brick here and jump on top, and we're gonna build it one layer higher. And then I'll make a roof for it. Oh, you like that, Wolfie. <laughs> He's such a good doggy. So much fun. Oh, but, you know, I also really like playing with Wolfie. Like I said before, we like to play fetch, but we also like to play hide and seek. And sometimes we'll, uh, we'll play fight together. Now, when you play fight with a doggy, they'll bark at you and sometimes try to bite you. But they'll never actually bite you or hurt you. That would be mean. And that's how they play, so they can pretend to hunt. It's especially good for wolves because it's really important that they can catch their own food. But Wolfie doesn't need to do that now, because I'm taking care of him. Isn't that right, Wolfie? Oh, are you stuck in the wall there? Get out of there. Oh, Wolfie, you're so silly. Come on now. Okay, so I've built some walls here, but, you know, Let's, let's build the roof next. I'm gonna put the roof on the top there and then I'll decide how I wanna build the rest of it. So I'm gonna make the roof out of some, some white wool and some red wool. So let's see here, we'll put one here and here, there we go, there we go. That's good, I like that. You like that, Wolfie? Yeah, he's a good boy. Oh man, Wolfie's never seen uh, anything else but snow before. He's never been, like, down where I live. I was talking to him about it before, and I was telling him about that we like to go swimming, and in the summertime it's warm out, and we have all sorts of fun. I really one day would like to bring Wolfie down from the mountain to show him what a swimming pool is. He's only ever been swimming in really cold water, and I think it would be cool if he could try swimming in a swimming pool with me and my Mother Goose Club friends. Do you guys like swimming? I love swimming, it's so much fun. It's fun to do with friends too and you can play all sorts of games like, like Marco Polo and, and just uh, having swimming races. It's a lot of fun. Okay, how do you like that Wolfie? Oh, you're going exploring? Okay, well, he's probably getting a little bored because he can't build. Well, let's see, it's a little dark in here so I'm gonna put some torches back here. There we go, that's one and two. Oh, see, now he's excited. Three, there we go. Oh, so the floor's made of dirt here. So I'm thinking I'm gonna dig some of that dirt out to build a floor. That'll be nice. So let's see, one, two, there we go. And I'm gonna build the floor out of some wooden planks. That way it can be just a little bit lower, but not a full block lower than the rest of it. I think Wolfie will really like that. And oh, that means there's gonna be some dirt on the side here. Well, I'll just dig that out and replace it with some, uh, some bricks here. I think that'll be nice. I think Wolfie will like that. Oh, this house is gonna be so cool. I love getting to build in Minecraft. It's so much fun. Uh, I, I built my whole house there. I built it when I first came up to the mountain and it was so fun to do. I had to do it quickly though before it got too cold out. But I like building at home with my friends Jack and Mary. It's a lot of fun. Oh, I also like building with other things like Legos. <gasps> Have you guys ever built with Legos before? They're so much fun. Oh, it's just so cool. Let's see how this is looking. Hmm. Oh wow, this house is looking great. Wolfie, Wolfie, come check it out. Yeah, so I'm gonna grab some more uh, some more bricks and finish up that wall. And then, yeah, I've got, I've got plenty of wood planks. That should be enough. And then I can uh, get building the flooring. Okay, so let's see, we're gonna put one here. And oh, looks like I missed one, uh, one uh, dirt block there. There we go, okay. So we'll put one here, there we go. And there, and there, and mm, there we go. Oh yeah, but besides Legos, I really love Play-Doh. Play-Doh is so much fun. I can build whatever I want out of it. Oh, and you can make some really silly things like ice cream. <gasps> Guys, I love ice cream. My favorite flavor is probably chocolate. Ah, uh, Teddy's favorite flavor is vanilla, but I think chocolate is better. 
or chocolate chip. Uh, Wolfie, get out of there! I'm building right there! Oh, you silly doggy, get out of there! Okay, well, looks like I can't get him to move, so I'll start putting down the flooring. So we'll put one here and there. Oh, this is gonna look so cool, Wolfie! Oh, it's gonna be so cozy! Whoopsies! We'll just uh, break that one there. There we go, that's better. Wolfie, you gotta get out of there! I gotta finish building the brick wall there! <laughs> oh, that's a good boy. Let's, let's, uh, let's put in those bricks there. There we go, that's better. Oh yeah, but ice cream, I love it. You know, Wolfie hasn't had ice cream either because he's been up in the snow. And you know, ice cream's fun to have in the winter time, but when it's already so cold out, I get even colder when I have ice cream. But you know, sometimes you really want ice cream, even if it's cold out. <laughs> but yeah, ice cream trucks are great, and they just never seem to come around in the winter time because it's just too cold. <laughs> so let's see. I'm gonna build a little bit more of a wall here, just like that. There we go. And oh, I missed a couple spots up there. Can I reach? Oh, I guess not. Let's get rid of this that I accidentally put down. Oh man. I should have brought my pickaxe with me. I totally forgot to grab one, I think. There we go. That's better. Well, that's all right for now. Let's see. Right there. There we go. That's better. Oh, yeah. This is looking really good. Okay. So, what else do I want to add? Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm going to put a little fence around here so when Wolfie is in his doghouse, he doesn't have to worry about anything else getting in, like other wolves or a... Uh, you know, anything else that might be living up here. Like those lava men we saw the other day. That was crazy. Oh, it was so cool, but also kind of scary. Oh, Wolfie, be careful. Be careful. Oh, he's fine. He's a good dog. Okay, so let's see. I think that means I need to grab some fences. We'll put the wool back. And let's see. We'll build it right here. There we go. And it can lead right up to my house. And this should be enough room for uh, Wolfie to play in. Yeah, that looks great. Awesome. Okay. Do we have any... Uh... Oh, cool. We've got a, a, a gate that we can put right here. Oh, oops. That was a fence. There we go. A gate right there. Let's uh, open that up. Oh, yeah. It's looking really good in here. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay. I'm going to dig up some of this snow to get it out from here. I don't want it to be cold in here for Wolfie. I think this is looking like a really good base for a doghouse. I could add a lot more cool stuff, but I think I'm gonna do that later. I wanna go out and play with Wolfie in the snow. We're gonna play fetch with snowballs. It's gonna be so much fun. But first, I think we're gonna need a nap. I'm getting pretty tired from all the building and crafting I did. Come on in here, Wolfie. Yeah, there you go. So we'll tie that up right there. And we'll close that. You like it so far, Wolfie? You got a little bit to play out here and a view of the whole mountainside. Oh, you're such a good boy, Wolfie. Oh, he's so cute. Oh man, this has been so much fun, you guys. Thank you so much for playing with me today. Oh, Wolfie's house is crazy. It's so cool in here. It's almost big enough for me to live in. <laughs> well, thank you so much for playing with me again. Bye from the Mother Goose Club. I'm Eat the Mouse from the Mother Goose Club. Today I'm at Old McDonald's Farm. Let me show you around. Come on. So this is Old McDonald's Farm. He's got this big barn here and all this land where he lets all of his animals walk around. And look, here's one of his small crop fields. Look at all of the stuff he has. He's got some pumpkins and watermelons and some of these other crops here. I wonder what they'll grow into. And look over here. Looks like he's got some wheat growing for his animals that live in the barn. Let's go check him out, guys. Me and my friends love coming to Old McDonald's farm every now and again. It's just so much fun. Check it out. He's got all of these cool sheep. They're inside the barn because they're special. They're colored sheep. Look, there's a pink one and a purple one and an orange one, even green. <laughs> They're so cool. But then he also has three horses here. See, look, a brown one, 
A gray one? And what's this? Oh no! It looks like one of the horses must have escaped! It looks like someone didn't tie him up and left his gate open to his stable! Oh no! Well, I better help old McDonald out and find him one! Find him the horse that he lost! Well, I could just go out there, but I should prepare. I should get a bunch of supplies to make sure when I find the horse, I can get him back home. Let's see, we'll need a saddle, a lead, a bunch of apples, as many as we can. Did you know that horses love apples? Just like me! <laughs> and some sugar for a treat? And I don't think we'll need any hay. This should be plenty. And I'll take some potions with me too just in case the horse got hurt while he was out adventuring. Oh no, I hope that's not the case. Okay, horsies, I'm gonna find your pony friend. All right, let's head out. You sheepies be good, you horses be good. Old Eep will be back with our other horse friend before you know it. All right, so let's look around. We didn't see the horse over in this crops area. Hmm, oh look, sheep. Let's ask the sheep if they've seen a horse. Hey, sheepy, have you seen any horses around? Besides the ones in the barn, I mean. No? No horses? Okay. Looks like that sheep hasn't seen anyone. How about you? Other sheep. Hey, have you seen any horses around? No? All right. Well, hmm. Let's see. Let's cross over the bridge there and see if we can find a horse over there. Around Old MacDonald's barn, he's got this cool river that runs through. It's great for growing crops. So I'm gonna head across the bridge now. Let's see, oh, look at this silly sheepy up there. Be careful, sheepy, you don't wanna fall into the lake. Come on over here. Okay, well, did you know sheeps and goats like to climb on mountains? Just like that sheep over there. <laughs> it's really funny sometimes. Look at these piggies and these cows. Hey there, Piggy. Have you seen any horses around? No? No ponies? Okay. What about you, Miss Cow? Have you seen any ponies? No? All right. Well, hmm. I'm not seeing any horses around, unfortunately. Let's see. I don't see anything. How about this? Let's build a lookout tower out of some dirt. Get high up so we can see more of Old McDonald's land, and maybe we'll see the horse from up there. Let's uh, let's do some digging. There we go. Some dirt. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Ten blocks of dirt should be enough to get pretty high up that we should be able to see around. So let's get building. Okay, so we're gonna jump on here and jump, boop. Jump and boop, boop. Let's look around from here. Hmm. Wow, look how pretty all of Old McDonald's farm is. He's got some trees that grow apples and another forest and all of his little animals are running around. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, hey, look. Oh, that must be the horse there. That must be the pony. Okay, let's get down from here. One, two, three, four, five, and six. All right. Hey there, Pony! How are you? Oh, hey, friend! Oh, look, he looks just like the other ponies! He's dark brown like his dad, and he's got white spots kind of like his mom! Oh, what a good little pony! Oh, hey there! I've got some treats for you! Let's see. Let's give him some apples. You want some apples, Pony? Oh, I think he likes that! Oh, isn't this cool? Oh, what a cute, good pony! Well, I've given him some apples. Let's see if he, uh, he'll let me ride him. Hey, Pony. Uh, we're going to ride you home, okay? Oh, look at this. Oh, he's letting me ride him around. What a good pony. Oh, did you see that? He loves me. We're friends now. Well, I'm going to hop off here because I don't want to ride you bareback. I don't want to hurt you. So we're going to hop off here, and I'm going to feed you some more apples to get your strength up for when we head home. Here. Okay, so looks like he's just raring to get going. Let's put a saddle on him. Let's grab the saddle. And hey there, 
pony. Oh, okay. So let's take the saddle and put it on you right here. There you go, pony. Oh, we should come up for a name for you. How about, hmm, Peter. Peter the Pony. You like that, Peter? Oh, you're such a good boy. What a good horsey. Well, let's hop on. Wow, I've never ridden a horse before, but I'm really excited. Let's, uh, let's head out. Whoa, Peter, you go so fast. Oh no, look at all those creepers over there on the bridge. Those weren't there before. Well, hmm, let's, let's hop off Peter here and make sure he doesn't get hurt. You stay here, Peter. I'm gonna go and uh, check on all those creepers and make sure that they don't uh, hurt any of the other animals. Let's, uh, let's grab our diamond sword and go check it out. Hey there, creepers, be careful. Don't, don't be mean. Oh no! Oh, that one exploded right on the bridge! Oh no! Oh! Ouchies! Owies! Oh golly! Get out of here, creeper! Oh! Oof! Wow! Oh no! The bridge! Oh! The creeper blew up this bridge and everything! We can't ride Peter across this! He might fall in! Oh dear! Well, hmm. Let's, let's collect a bunch of this, uh, this dirt that that creeper exploded and and rebuild the bridge with it. We don't have enough cobblestone to rebuild it completely, so I'll just make it out of dirt until I can talk to old McDonald about where I can get some more cobblestone. Oh, okay, so let's put some in this hole right here. That's one. We're gonna put some dirt. Oh, I missed. <laughs> We're gonna put some right there. And, oh, Sheepy, what are you doing? Be careful up there. Okay, so put a bunch of dirt here. Good thing the creeper didn't get you, Mr. Sheepy. Oh, it's important to be careful. So, I think the bridge looks pretty good. Let's fill in this hole a little bit with some dirt, though, so no one can fall in and get hurt, like those sheep or, or any of the piggies or even the cows. We'll just put some here and here, just enough so that no one can get stuck. Okay, you know what? We'll, we'll take some of this dirt here and we'll put it in those holes. Because that's the thing about when you have a farm. It's most important to take care of your animals and make sure they're safe. Old McDonald does that all the time. Sometimes we'll come over and he'll show us how to build fences and troughs and feed all the animals so we can take care of them. Okay, Peter, I think we're good to go. Let's head out. Yeah, let's cross the bridge. There we go. Nay! Isn't that right, Peter? <laughs> oh, he's so silly. Oh, man. Well, let's, let's get him back into the barn where he can be safe from creepers and, and not get out. Okay. So let's hop off. And oh, Peter, see? Look, it's your mom and dad. Oh, isn't this great? Okay. Let's, uh, let's put a, a lead on you and we'll get you into your stable. There we go. Come on in, Peter. Let's go. Get over here. Oh, oh, do you want some snacks? Are you hungry? Well, I'll put some hay in your stable once we get in, okay? Let's let's go. Ah, there we go. Can you get in, Peter? Oh, oh, it looks like he's too big to get in through the fence there. Let's uh, let's make it a little bigger for him. And we'll get rid of this. And that should be plenty of room. Come on, Peter. This way, over here. Oh, who's a good boy? Come on over here, Peter. Yeah, oh, you like that, don't you? Okay, let's put the fence back, and the gate, and, uh-oh. Okay, right there. There you go, Peter, and here we go. Let's tie you up so you don't get out again. We don't want any of those creepers getting at you. Okay, so let's see, let's put some hay in there. And we can put back these healing potions. I don't need any. Those creepers didn't get me too bad. We'll put the wheat here and the sugar. And oh, look, I collected some seeds while I was out. Let's put those in here for old McDonald. He can use them on his crops sometime. Okay, let's grab the hay. And we're gonna put it right in your stable. We'll put it right here. There you go, Peter. Just for you. Oh, oops. There we go. Some hay for you to eat. And you know what? Looks like uh, your mom and dad are out. Let's 
Let's give them some hay too. Hi, Mama Horsey. Here you go. Here's some hay for you. Just like Peter. Okay. And Daddy Horsey, we'll give you some too. There you go, right there. Perfect. Oh, this is great. Oh, look how excited Peter is. Oh, aren't you a good horsey? He's a good pony. Well, this has been so much fun. Thank you guys for helping me find Peter the Pony and get him back safe and sound, especially with all those creepers around. You guys will have to come by Old McDonald's farm soon. We can hang out with all the animals. Well, bye-bye from the Mother Goose Club. Minecraft? I love Minecraft. Like, really, really, really love Minecraft. <laughs> so, welcome to my world of Minecraft. <laughs> Let's explore this whole world together. You, me, and all of my friends. So come on, let's check out Old McDonald's house first. <laughs> oh, this is his farm and his barn. He has all sorts of animals here like piggies and, and cows, sheep, and who knows what else. <laughs> Me and my friends come and play here all the time. It's so much fun. And oh look, even Old MacDonald has all sorts of plants growing too. Like let's check it out. He's got some pumpkins and oh look, watermelons. I wonder what the rest of these plants are going to be. And look, there's some wheat back there. Oh, that's so cool. And let's check out who's hanging out in his barn today. Oh, check it out. We've got some horses. And look, it's Old MacDonald's flock of colorful sheep. Hi, sheepies. Uh, Old MacDonald likes to have me over and we shear sheep sometimes. Let's, let's help him out and grab the shears and shear some of these cool sheep. Let's see. Oh yeah, Old MacDonald has 10 sheep, 10 of his favorite colorful sheep. But let's let's shear this white one here. Okay, get ready, sheepy. Ah, there we go, we got some wool. <laughs> he looks naked now, that's so funny. Oh, let's see, I wanna shear the blue sheep next. He's my favorite, cause that's my favorite color. Let's see, huh, I don't, I don't see the blue sheep here. There's one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <gasps> There's supposed to be ten sheep. Guys, I think the, the blue sheep must be missing. <gasps> Maybe he got out. Oh, no. Well, we better go find him for old McDonald. And the blue sheep's my friend, too. We, we gotta, we gotta find the blue sheep. I wonder, I wonder where he could be. Have any of you horses seen the blue sheep? No? Okay, well... Looks like Eep's gonna find him. Huh, let's see. Sheepy, blue sheepy. What's this over here? <gasps> Guys, look, it's some, it's some blue wool that's here on the ground. Oh, the sheep must have been right around here. Oh man, so there's some more and more. <gasps> oh no. Oh dear, it looks like Sheepy went into that cave where those, those spiders are. Oh, well, we're gonna have to save the Sheepy from the spiders. Take that. And that! Get out of here, spider! Oh, we got him! Oh, well, I'm sure there's more where that came from, but... Oh, look, there's there's some, some blue wool here. That means that sheepy, the blue sheep, definitely went in here. Well, let's get some torches out, and we're gonna have to, to find the blue sheep. Okay, so we'll put a torch here. Spiders don't like fire. So maybe, maybe we can keep them away. Oh, there's a spider. Oh no, ah, take that and, and that and that. Oh, we got them, we got the spiders. Okay, well, let's hope there's not any more in here. Sheepy, sheepy. Oh, there's some more blue wool. So the sheepy must be in here somewhere. Blue sheep. Oh no, there are cobwebs. Oh, I think that means more spiders. Sheepy. Oh, there's a spider. Hey, spider. I don't think he sees me yet. Let's see if we can get him. Spider. Spider. Don't. Don't. There we go. Oh, see, I snuck right up on him. Oh, no, another one. Take that and that. Oh, I think.
think we got him. Oh, there's one up ahead. Well, let's put a, a torch out. And, oh, he's coming. Take that and that. Yeah, we got the spider. Oh, there's some torches up ahead. They're not very bright, though. Put a couple up here. Oh. Well, maybe this is a dungeon. Oh, I'm stuck in the cobweb. Gross. Oh, it's so sticky. Uh, ah, oh, there we go. We got out of it. Maybe, maybe. Oh, what if, what if the sheep is a, an adventurer like we are and just wanted to go exploring? Oh, there it is. We found him. Hey, blue sheepy. Oh, what you doing down here? Oh, looks like he got stuck in the cobwebs. Well, we'll get you out. Let's see. Let's get rid of some of this fence. Oh, I didn't mean to put a hole in the floor. Let's see. You okay, sheepy? There we go. You all right there, blue sheep? How you feeling? You okay? Oh, I'm stuck in the cobwebs too now. Well, let's, let's, uh, let's get you out of here. Let's get you home safe. Let's, uh, we'll, uh, pull you out of here with this lead and we'll, we'll get going. Okay, sheepy. Let's, let's go. You gonna be able to make it out? You gonna be okay? Let's see. Come on, sheepy. Oh, there we go. Let's head back up. You coming? Oh, you're so happy! Sheepy, what are you doing? You silly sheep. Oh, I'm, I'm sure he's glad I was able to help him out and get rid of all those scary spiders. Oh, yeah. Come on, blue sheep. Let's go. <laughs> Let's see. I, I, I don't think there's going to be any more, so I think we're going to be okay. Let's see. Heading up this way. Oh, I'm glad I put down all these torches. Now it's much less scary. Sheepy, I lost him. Oh, come on now. <laughs> I must have I must have gone ahead too far. The lead fell off. Sheepy. Oh, look, you know exactly where we're going now. Oh, what a good boy. Come on, Sheepy, let's go. Huh? Okay. And up this way. Oh, and there's daylight. Come on, Sheepy. See, we're going to be fine. <laughs> oh, man. Well, I'm glad I was able to find the lost blue sheep. Come on, let's go. Oh, what a cute sheep. Let's see. Oh, what's this? A bunch of wool. Huh. Well, oh no! All the other sheep are gone! Sheepy, oh no! Oh dear! How did this happen? I, I could have sworn I shut the gate afterwards. Oh no! Oh man! Well, let's at least get the blue sheep back and we'll figure out what happened to the rest. Come on, sheepy, let's go! Oh man, they they left trails going everywhere. Oh, where could they all have gone to? Oh, they all got right out. Oh, can you believe it, Sheepy? Oh man. Well, let's uh let's tie you up right here and I'll rebuild the fence so you you can uh you can be safe. There we go. It's right right up to this post here. There we go. Okay. So we've got some, but Let's hope it's enough. That's there, and there, and ah. Uh, let's uh, close up the gates here. And so I'm out of fence. I wonder if we have any in here. Hmm. Oh, there we go. We got a bunch of fence in here. That, that'll be enough to rebuild. So let's see, we'll put one right here, and one here. There we go, that's good. And you know what? Because I don't want you getting out. Let's build it a little bit higher. Here and here. One right on top. Oh, okay. Well, you're fine now. You don't need to uh, have the lead on it anymore. Let's see. Put one here. Oops. I missed. There we go. Come on now. There. Let's see. Right here. And oh, man. Right here. And here. Oh, I keep missing. It's hard building fences on top of each other. There we go. And that'll just stay here. Not a big deal. Okay. Let's uh, let's get in here and let's grab that lead. And you know what? Since we're here and this is the only sheep we have, let's shear it, just like the white sheep. Okay, open up and gotta make sure we close it after ourselves. Ain't that right, sheepy? Okay, so you know, it's a little dark back here. Let's let's put a torch up too. Boop. Okay, so we're gonna shear the blue sheep. Did you know blue's my favorite color, sheepy? That's why I like you a lot. And we're friends. Haha. <laughs> okay, get ready. There 
There we go. We got some blue wool. Oh, you're naked now, sheepy. Don't worry. It'll grow back soon, and we'll have plenty of blue wool for me and all of my friends at the Mother Goose Club. <laughs> okay, so oh, now, now for the problem of all the other sheep that got out. Man, there's so many. I'm gonna have to work really hard to find out where they all went. Oh boy, will you guys help me find the rest of the sheep some other time? We gotta find all of Old MacDonald's sheep, all of the nine other sheepies. Well, thank you so much for playing with me today, guys. I had so much fun. And we're gonna have so much more fun in this world of Minecraft. Well, see you again soon. Bye-bye. Bye from the Mother Goose Club. Bye.